Botswana residents want law and order to be restored. This comes after at least 10 fatal shootings linked to Mamilodi's gang wars. Now, in the latest assassination, a man believed to be the leader of the feared Boko Haram gang was shot and killed on Tuesday afternoon. For more on this, I'm joined by Mr. Bafana Ntlapo, who is the chair of, Twane, of, uh, the, of Sanko in Tswane. Mr. Ntlapo, thank you for your time today. So talk to us about um, the, the, the vigilantism that is taking place in Tswane. There also seems to be a bit of mixed reaction from the community, some who are in support of it and others who are not. What is the situation on the ground? Uh, thank you, uh, Tammy, and to your viewers. Uh, my name is Fafana Ntlak, as you've said, but I'm the spokesperson of Sanko in Tswane. Uh, what is happening is that uh, uh, there's mixed reactions on the ground around the developments uh, with regards to the gangs, which was terrorizing uh, communities in Tswane, in particular by the name called Boko Haram. And we've seen a number of killings and which were associated to a a, a boogeyman, if I were to call it, uh, called John, John Wick. Uh, one must say, uh, this can be uh, the manner we deal with issues that affects communities. And one believes that if we allow instruments of justice to be substituted, uh, in a long run, uh, we're going to be sitting with a serious problem where people take uh, uh, law into their own hands. And we, we call on the swift uh, response of the of the. Um, uh, security uh, agencies to, to deal with this particular matter. Now, the police commissioner, uh, Kekla Sitole, says that the investigation into this Mamilodi gang named Boko Haram is at an advanced stage now. Uh, with going into, without going into details, Sitole says that they have put a special task team to investigate that gang. Let, let's listen into this. Um, look, it's an advanced the, the investigation. We have uh, put together a multidisciplinary investigation task team uh, to tackle this particular case. I may not be able to share the details because it may compromise the investigation itself, but uh, we are very close to maybe cracking it. So we hear there um, Ketla Sitole talking about the fact that investigations are ongoing. How sure is the community that there's one person behind this? Or, or could it be an entire syndicate that is in itself fighting the gangs? Um, look, uh, we can't speculate. This, this kind of work requires a, a, what a General Sitole has referred to a multidisciplinary uh, high intelligence operation that is able to track and analyze because there's a mondos operandi here and it's very clear to point out that it is a well uh, strategized uh, killing of identified individuals that belongs to this particular grouping so and it can be a, a, a all the time when there are issues like this we are told about investigations uh, multidisciplinary tax teams i think by now we should be all of already established a multidisciplinary uh, unit that is going to deal with the issue of your 80 percent project stoppages which is t uh, torturing communities as well as your your your, your Bogo Haram and other gangs that are, are terrorizing our streets our communities are no longer safe uh, Mami Lodi, Soshanguve, V, they can never be a project of, of government or any development that happens in communities without them being terrorized by by criminals and and gangs so this issue cannot be just focusing on this investigation of one person who might or whatever uh, syndicate that is there dealing with one another or is it uh, someone dedicated to to be vengeful we don't know uh, it must be a well-coordinated tax team that is permanently established to deal with issues of this particular nature which we've been raising we've seen a lot of councillors also dying in swan and and this particular issue speaks about the the number of guns which are in our township and we we are really concerned that the police only act when these issues are on the media and when the community has already lost hope and trust in the in the security apparatus of this country. Mr. Bafan and Tlapo, thank you very much uh, for giving your views there. He is the spokesperson of Sanko in Tswane.